monotype is basically when you you start with a single surface and you're just putting ink over the top of it. You don't you haven't done anything to that surface. It's totally smooth. Usually you're doing it on glass or plexiglass or something like that, and you're just basically painting on it, and then you're running it through the press with a piece of paper on top of it, and whatever ink was on there is transferred to that piece of paper. So it's the mirror image of that. I can keep it as tight or as loose as I want. I'm going for something just a little bit, um, something a little looser that maybe I can work into afterwards with some watercolors or something like that. I'm an illustration major, so I, I like to use these and just like work back into them. They provide really cool like uh, backgrounds and things like that. Already. So um, just lining up the plate with this is called the registration, just to make sure that the paper has an even two inch border all the way around it. Um, basically by doing this we don't have to draw like a border around it or cut our paper too big and then cut it down. It just kind of keeps it really simple. Being in printmaking, yeah, you're around like this really old equipment and you're thinking about kind of how they used to do things. But I think that it, it makes it, it makes it easier to think about how we do things now and where it came from. It's kind of like uh, you either get a good print or you don't because you can't really go back. It's you only have one one chance. That's why it's a mono monotype. I don't think we should ever really get rid of this um, this this older tradition. Uh, I think it's there's a lot of uses for it, and uh, it just makes you. I mean, to actually work with the art instead of just like press a button and print, it's totally um, different experience.